the French appear to have come up with a way of opening a wine bottle without a corkscrew at all. The first stage involves taking off the wrapping around the cork, and then the second stage is slightly surprising. You take something to protect the wine bottle, and then you strike the wine bottle against a wall through something like a newspaper, repeatedly. And then without even touching the cork, very surprisingly, this cork, the cork slowly moves out. Now, various people have asked us what's going on. And there's a couple of hints here. One of them is the very strange thing that's happening to the wine in the bottle. Instead of staying clear, it's going very white and milky. And if you leave the wine bottle to stand, um, these actually appear to be bubbles, very, very, very tiny bubbles, and they'll slowly move up again through the wine bottle. What's going on with the science? I had a look at this with my high-speed camera to see what's going on. And you can see these bubbles being formed just as the bottle hits the wall in the neck of the bottle. And even slowed down by 20 times, it's very hard to work out what's going on. But I've then slowed that down by another 20 times, so it's actually slowed down by a factor of 400. And each frame is a 600th of a second. And here you can see for just one frame, as the bottle hits the wall, you see a whole lot of bubbles. These then seem to collapse and form into these very tiny microscopic bu bubbles, which then st stay around and make the thing look milky. But as these big bubbles collapse, that appears to be what's pushing the cork out. So what I think is going on is that as you throw the wine bottle towards the wall, you're accelerating it forwards, so the wine sloshes backwards, that leaves the bubble at the front of the bottle. Then as the bottle hits the wall, um, the wine wants to carry on, um, but there's got no time to move the bubble, so that produces a very, very low pressure in the neck of the bottle. The pressure is so low that you form little cavities, um, so the big bubble at the front shrinks and you get these little cavitation bubbles in the neck of the bottle. These are incredibly unstable and they'll pull the wine back up the bottle again and this then collapses the bubbles, they then collapse incredibly violently and the wine is, carries on and bashes into the cork and pushes it out. Repeating the process several times of course bashes the cork repeatedly and eventually it comes out far enough that you can take it out with your teeth.